Imagine gazing off the rocky coast of Taiwan as massive, shadowy figures break the surface of the deep blue Pacific. These titans, sperm whales, are arriving weeks earlier than historical norms, an event that whispers the tales of our changing climate through their impressive spouts. Taiwan, known for its breathtaking landscapes and vibrant ecosystems, now stages an unsettling scene of this grand change. These gentle giants of the ocean, once celebrated in literature and lore, are now bringing with them a stark reminder of the delicate balance we are tampering with. Early Whale Arrivals and Climate Signals The Pacific around Taiwan is whispering secrets of global changes through the early arrivals of sperm whales, a species famously rich in legend and biology. These early whale sightings correlate intriguingly with alterations in oceanic temperature and currents, phenomena increasingly attributed to the ongoing saga of climate change. Researchers suggest that these shifts in marine environments are affecting the whales' migration patterns and feeding grounds, potentially alerting them to move sooner in search of adequate sustenance. Traditional tracking methods and modern technology meld as scientists employ satellite tags and drones to understand better these giants' altered paths. The data collected suggests a strong correlation between rising ocean temperatures and the whale's migration timing. As these conditions continue to shift, understanding these patterns becomes crucial, not only for the preservation of the species, but for grasping the broader alterations in marine ecosystems being driven by climate change. The ecological implications of these shifts are profound. Sperm whales, as apex predators, play a critical role in the marine food web. Their earlier arrivals and potentially extended stays could disrupt local biodiversity and competition dynamics among marine species. Moreover, the health of these whales could serve as a bellwether for the health of the ocean at large, potentially signaling more drastic ecological transformations catalyzed by a warming planet. Titans of the Deep The Ecological Role of Sperm Whales Sperm whales are not merely oceanic voyagers, they are vital contributors to the marine ecosystem's nutrient dynamics. Known for their deep dives into the ocean's twilight zone, sperm whales contribute to the oceanic carbon cycle uniquely and powerfully. By consuming prey such as giant squids at depth and releasing fecal plumes near the surface, they effectively transport nutrients up the water column, enhancing the productivity of oceanic waters and supporting diverse marine life. This phenomenon, often referred to as the whale pump, illustrates how sperm whales recycle carbon and nutrients, significantly impacting phytoplankton populations that serve as the base of the marine food web and major players in global carbon sequestration. In a time of rapid climate change, these natural processes become even more crucial. They not only support marine biodiversity, but also combat climate change by enhancing the ocean's capacity to capture and store carbon. The presence of sperm whales in Taiwanese waters, therefore, is a chapter in a larger narrative about biodiversity, climate change, and the interconnectedness of Earth's ecosystems. Monitoring and understanding their patterns and behaviors not only enlighten us about the changes occurring in our oceans, but also underscore the significant role these majestic creatures play in maintaining ecological balance. The early arrival of sperm whales could be a harbinger of more profound changes prompting a recalibration of conservation strategies and an intensified focus on sustainable interactions with our planet's marine environments. As we advance our research and expand our understanding of these phenomena, the story of sperm whales in Taiwan becomes a crucial narrative in our global dialogue on biodiversity and climate resilience. It's a reminder of the complexity of nature's networks and a call to action to preserve these critical systems in the face of profound environmental shifts. The tale of these ocean giants and their shifting patterns is not just about whales. It's about water, weather, and the web of life that sustains us all. Imagine a world where sperm whales check their calendars, find out they're ahead of schedule, and decide to make an early appearance in Taiwan. Sounds like someone's been fiddling with Mother Nature's itinerary, right? Hello and welcome to the Pursuit of Happiness channel, your go-to source for navigating the complexities of the financial world with wisdom and insight. In today's ever-changing economic landscape, we delve deep into the interplay between global events, investment strategies, and the pivotal role of environmental, social, and governance ESG factors 
in shaping the future of business and investment. With a unique blend of ancient wisdom, modern financial tactics, and cutting-edge neural network analysis, we uncover patterns and insights critical for making informed investment decisions. From the challenges of climate change to the intricacies of monetary policy and the evolving narrative of ESG investing, join us as we explore how to thrive in a VUCA world and steer towards sustainable and equitable growth. Stay tuned as we unveil the secrets to enhancing your life's quality with minimal time investment and navigate the tumultuous financial waters with agility and foresight. Knowledge is not just power, it's your tool for increasing value. Let's embark on this journey together. Imagine Taiwan, a beacon of technological achievement and economic prowess, standing at a crossroads where sustainability meets corporate governance. In an era where climate change casts long shadows over future generations, the island faces unprecedented environmental challenges. Yet, it is within the boardrooms, where decisions ripple into global markets, that the battle for a sustainable future is being rigorously fought. Today, Taiwanese companies are not just adapting to new climate realities. They are leading the charge, reshaping corporate landscapes and setting benchmarks for the world. This video explores how these entities are weaving the threads of environmental consciousness through the fabric of their governance structures, ensuring long-term resilience and sustainability. From the husky polar bears to the microscopic plankton, everyone's feeling the heat. Marine mammals are losing their chill as their icy homes melt away, while plankton are experiencing a population boom in warmer waters, proving that every cloud, or in this case every degree of warming, has a silver lining. Is climate change scrolling through its vast repertoire of chaos, choosing which card to play next? While scientists are busy piecing together this jigsaw, there's a theory floating around that warming oceans and melting ice caps are like VIP passes, granting sperm whales access to previously exclusive northern waters. Here's a twist. Sperm whales aren't just passive participants in this saga. By fertilizing the ocean with their nutrient-rich poop, they're helping to grow plankton that draws down carbon dioxide. Talk about turning a crappy situation into a breath of fresh air. The early arrival of these mammoth guests sheds light on the importance of flexibility and readiness in management. Just as marine biologists must adjust their strategies in response to unexpected whale visits, business leaders must pivot in the face of unforeseen market shifts. Adaptive management is the name of the game, both in the briny depths and the boardroom. It's about being nimble, embracing innovation, and always being prepared to rewrite the playbook. The ocean's management dilemmas offer valuable lessons for the corporate world. Navigating the stormy seas of climate change requires a captain who's not afraid to alter course and sail into the unknown. Challenges, whether in the depths of the ocean or the heart of Silicon Valley, are the mothers of invention. They push us to think outside the box, or in this case, outside the boat, driving innovation that not only solves problems, but also opens up new horizons. The discussion on corporate governance in Taiwan has taken a transformative turn over the past decade. Traditionally focused on financial robustness and shareholder returns, it is now increasingly entwined with strategies to combat climate change. This paradigm shift is not merely a response to regulatory pressures, but a strategic foresight into the future of business sustainability. Taiwanese companies are integrating climate-related goals into their core business strategies, recognizing that long-term success hinges heavily on their environmental footprint. In response to growing local and international demands for greater transparency and responsibility, Taiwan's regulatory framework has evolved. Newly implemented guidelines now require listed companies to disclose climate-related risks and management strategies in their annual reports. This regulatory shift is a game-changer. It compels companies to reassess their operations through the lens of environmental impact, fostering a culture that values sustainability at all decision-making levels. It is in the boardrooms where the true test of these governance reforms is observed. Corporate boards are expanding their scope to include experts in environmental sustainability and risk management, a move that has pioneered a host of innovative approaches to resource management, energy consumption, and waste reduction. Enhanced scrutiny, and the incorporation of sustainability metrics into executive performance evaluations illustrate a robust commitment to this new governance culture. One of the most prominent examples of successful integration of climate considerations into corporate governance 
is seen in the operations of Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC. TSMC, a titan in the global semiconductor industry, has embraced a comprehensive strategy that aligns its operational demands with stringent environmental objectives. Underpinned by a corporate governance framework that prioritizes sustainable practices, TSMC has implemented cutting-edge technologies to reduce water usage, minimize energy consumption, and lower greenhouse gas emissions. The significance of TSMC's initiatives extends beyond operational efficiencies. It encapsulates a broader societal impact, contributing to Taiwan's national goals of reducing carbon intensity and transitioning to renewable energy sources. By setting aggressive internal carbon prices and investing in renewable energy ventures, TSMC not only mitigates its environmental impact, but also influences its vast array of suppliers and customers towards greener practices. Another noteworthy case is that of Formosa Plastics Group FPG, which has undertaken significant steps to integrate environmental concerns into its governance structures. Through rigorous risk assessment models and the adoption of circular economy principles, FPG is tackling the environmental challenges associated with the plastics industry. Its commitment to reducing plastic waste and promoting recycling technologies showcases how traditional industries can pivot towards sustainability without compromising on profitability or operational excellence. Corporate governance and global climate governance are closely interconnected, as they both aim to promote sustainability and address climate change. While corporate governance focuses on internal mechanisms within companies, global climate governance encompasses broader policies and frameworks at a global scale. This video highlights the relationship between these two frameworks, emphasizing the importance of sustainable practices, accurate reporting, and financial incentives in promoting climate-conscious, corporate governance. This video intends to examine the relationship between Taiwan's corporate governance system and its impact on carbon emissions within Taiwan, considering Taiwan's current economic development situation from a comprehensive perspective. Firstly, it suggests that effective corporate governance in Taiwan plays a crucial role in reducing carbon emissions and minimizing the impact of extreme weather conditions. This implies that companies should prioritize implementing robust governance practices that promote environmental sustainability. To achieve this, companies should focus on enhancing transparency and accountability within their operations. It is important for organizations to establish clear systems of responsibility and reporting to ensure that environmental considerations are not sacrificed for short-term financial gains. By doing so, companies can foster trust among stakeholders, including investors, employees, and the public. Through an analysis techniques, the study extracted determining factors that significantly influence carbon dioxide emissions generated by Taiwan's GDP for each unit. The study also highlights the negative correlation between certain factors and CO2 GDP in Taiwan. For example, the number of Taiwanese stocks held by individuals living abroad, the number of shares held by the top 10 relatives of Taiwanese shareholders excluding directors and supervisors, and the total number of Taiwanese stocks held by company executives all show a significant negative correlation with carbon emissions. These findings suggest that companies should encourage greater foreign investment and ensure that executives and key shareholders have a vested interest in environmental sustainability. The research indicates that the industrial process water recycling rate is negatively correlated with CO2 emissions. This suggests that implementing efficient water management practices can contribute to reducing carbon emissions. Companies should explore and invest in technologies and processes that promote water recycling and conservation to achieve environmental objectives. In conclusion, as Taiwan continues to face the daunting challenges posed by climate change, its corporate sector is demonstrating remarkable adaptability and foresight. The integration of robust environmental governance practices within Taiwanese companies not only fortifies their competitive edge, but also substantially contributes to global sustainability efforts. This symbiotic relationship between corporate governance and environmental resilience serves as a model, encouraging other nations and industries to reflect on and reform their strategies in the face of ecological crises. Through proactive leadership and strategic governance, Taiwan is building a resilient foundation for a sustainable future, inspiring a wave of transformation that could potentially echo across economies worldwide.